welcome to my let's play of Midnight's Blessing. This is part 4. I am Anna from Geek Girls Pwn and I'm too old to understand Snapchat. Last time we got ambushed by bandit chief Jeff who wanted to be a dance instructor and who also was a werewolf. We ended up with Sydney getting eaten by dogs. Twice. This time I predict running around in circles, dodging dogs. Let's play! Took an earlier save because we don't need to do the dog things again. I'm going this direction. Oh, maybe I should punch the flower to get some... <gasps> that's, um, that's a great poem from uh, Charles Bukowski. Um, I'm gonna send someone to fetch it and I'll, uh, I'll re read it to you later. First, punching mice and flowers. It got tiny, tiny heads. It's not leaves, it's leech heads. Cute and dead. <laughs> you go, Sydney. Please level up so you can punch the dogs too. I wonder if red eyed rabbits are okay to kill. I must remember to. Uh, eat some sassy bread because I will die. I don't. Silly mice, die! I know there's a big difference between rats and mice because I had rats for a couple of years. Very cute animals. Uh, Kind of a cross between dogs and cats. As smart as a uh, a cat, but okay, dogs and cats are smart both, but um, a more independent as a cat and uh, still. Um, I leveled up. That's good. I wonder if I can take on the dogs now. Yes, rats. Smart as smart, independent as cats, and uh, loyal as dogs. Here we go, doggy, or wolfy. I don't know. Maybe there are wolves. Ha <laughs> ha! I'll get you for killing me twice. I just want to know if I can do this. I don't really need to go in this direction. Critical it. For not liking combat, I'm awfully enthusiastic right now. But revenge is one thing. This does not look good. I hope it misses. Yes! Die, dogs! Die! <laughs> I can't do that again. Can I? Yeah, of course I can. I'm gonna kill some doggies. But first, some flowers. I'd rather think of them as mice, because mice are stupid, rats are cute. Okay, mice are cute too, but... Silly. Oh, I've got a poem delivered here. Bukowski. You know, the drunk poet. This is from 1970-ish, 1960. It's 
called the Flower Lover. In the Valkyrie Mountains, among the strutting peacocks, I found a flower as large as my head. And when I reached in to smell it, I lost an earlobe, part of my nose, one eye and half a pack of cigarettes. I came back the next day to hack the damn thing down, but I found it so beautiful, I killed a peacock instead. That's Charles Bukowski for you. One of my favorite poems in the whole wide world. Um, I don't have to fight these. Also, there's nothing of interest in here, so... Yay! Uh, there was... there was an exit. Um, that surprised me. Time to save. Uh. Die dogs. These dogs hurt a lot more than the last ones. Ooh. Rabbits I can handle. Remembering to heal myself, that's totally impossible. I can do it in, in fights, uh, of course, but uh, that's wasting around and wasting time. I'm in a hurry, I need to go get to ghost thingy village town forest. I don't know where I'm going. I'm getting out of Sasserogs. Getting out? I'm running out of Sasserogs. No more mice fighting for me. This feels endless right now. Avoiding dogs, that's what I do. I don't know if you heard of uh, Jonathan McIntosh. He's uh, a co-creator of Endless Frequencies series. Um, tropes, tropes versus women in video games. This was a dead end. Um, if you check him out on Twitter, he has a lot to say about he narrowly escaping dogs. No, he has a lot to say about uh, violence in video games. He's uh, mostly asking questions about why it's the default way of uh, of uh, solving conflicts, and he also talks about how. Violence in video games impact society. Anita Sarkisian also brings this up uh, from time to time, and uh, game creator Brianna Wu talks ah talks a lot about it. Hey, how did you get it ahead of me, Mister and Mrs. Werewolves? We're werewolves, Sydney. We live in these woods. There are all sorts of shortcuts and such if one knows where to look. Stop talking to her, Jeff, and just enslave the little bugger already. She's given us enough trouble today. Right, okay, Sydney. Enough running around and stuff. Just come along quietly and we won't have to hurt you. But I don't want to be a slave. Now, how do you think you don't like it? Sorry. Now, how do you know you don't like it? Have you ever been a slave before? Maybe it'll be fun. Yeah, maybe it will be. Oi! You ugly, hairy blackguards! Did you forget about me? <gasps> you! You wanna move, kid? I've got some wolfskin rugs that need a good solid killing. You're not the first hunter we've dealt with, you know? You're thinking of that skull-faced spook, the necksucker weep over? I'm a tracker, not the hunter. Whatever, like it matters. Tracker, hunter, slayer, we still leave you for the crows to pick at and take what we need from that girl. Gee, seriously? I was after you three idiots for sheep poaching, but picking on little girls? I'm sorry. 
but I've got to deal with you now. Hey, you can't fight them alone. Look, you're hurt. I've had worse. Now step back. No, I won't let you fight alone. I, I mean, I'm a pretty good shot. I can help you. Fine, whatever. Let's get this over with already. I don't know if you've noticed, but there's an awful lot of women and girls in this game. Um, that's what I was hoping for when I started. Let's go for Jeff first. That was what, what I was hoping for, so uh, I'm happy to see that wish come true. Does Weird Girl, girl has talents? She does not. You go for Jeff too, Weird Girl. Talent is missing. Green werewolves. Everybody's missing. It's good for me. Always go for the chief first. Actually, uh, if there's something you learn from MMOs, it's always go for the ads first. So this is not the best way to handle this situation. But I'm sticking to it. Come on, a two point critical hit. That's all you can do. I've had worse from simple dogs. I don't want Jeff to die. He's good at waltz. I think I'll uh, stop to eat some bread in the middle of this fight. Oh, you can give bread to another player. Does that mean you force feed them when uh, when they're about to fight? Kill Rudy. I actually thought Rudy was the girl and uh, the magenta thingy up there was the boy, but I think it's the other way around. Rudy and... yeah, Susan is the girl. Rudy, I don't know if it's the boy's name. But you know. I thought about it as Ruby. Oh, I'm sorry to have to kill you, Susan. But you started it. Shouldn't hang out with losers like... Jeff. Okay, that was you're pretty alright there, kid. Not a great shot, but you did okay. Hey, weird girl, that was not nice. I saved your ass. Thanks, I mean, I was I was so scared. I've never been in a real fight before. Yeah, I could tell. Hey, I was fighting dogs. Who is this chick? You kept yelping every time you released your bowstring. What are you doing out there, by the way? Don't you know the divide is lousy with bandits and wild animals? I probably said the wrong word there because lousy uh, doesn't make sense. I have to be here. There's a man in Limpalt who can help me save my mama, I think. I don't know, I just, I just have to do something. I can't stay at home if mama's not there, so I have to go. Whoa, slow down there. Start at the beginning. What about your old lady? I told her, Mama, I told her everything about the fire and the strangers and Sambra's post and all of it. She looked at me like I was crazy. I guess she didn't understand any of it better than I did. Gee, I mean, gee, that's rough. So... This guy in Limpost you're supposed to see. What's his name? I, um... Oh no! I completely forgot his name. <laughs> now what I'm supposed to do? Hey, uh, don't cry, alright. Gee. Um, maybe you should Google it? What would the old man do at a time like this? He'd Google it. Ah! You, you slapped me! Yeah, sorry about that. You were wearing me out. I had to stop you crying somehow. I hope I didn't hurt you too much. Look, I'm on my way to the Valley of Ghosts. It's just through Limpolt. 
If you want, I can come with you and help you find this guy you're looking for. Could you do that? Uh, yeah. It's obvious you're pretty helpless without me around. Sure, you got the bow and you can sort of fight with it, but even then, you're kind of pathetic, you know? So I'll help you along until you get what you need. But no crying, got it? This girl is too mean. I should slap her. Right, um, I'm, I'm Sydney, Sydney Larkhurst. Well, Sydney, Sydney Larkhurst. I'm Brenna McBay of the Clan McBay. Nice to meet you. As you may have guessed, I'm a tracker. I hunt down dangerous terath teratomorphs and punish them for their sins. Teratomorphs? Yeah, you know, ther <laughs> therianthropes, sanguivores, necrombolists, teratomorphs. Uh, yeah, those guys with, with all the crazy things they do. And you hunt them, uh, uh, wow, that must be something. That's right, even wonder at my might. But later, now we have to get a move on. Those weren't the only werewolves in this area, and the more of them there are, the harder it will be to, you know, not die horribly. I did not like that girl at all. And that's not only because she was weird, it was because she was mean. And she's following me around now. Here she is, Brenna Slayer, uh, level 8, that can come in handy. And why were all the werewolves attacking me when she was the tank? That's just mean. Is this Limpolt? Or is this more fighting? Uh, hello? We are going into the city, right? Why are we stopping just outside the gate? Hmm, okay, full disclosure. The last time I was this way, there was some trouble. You know how it is. Someone picked someone's pocket, there was some co-tipping, which totally does not warrant a rigorous flogging, no matter what the mayor says. And the next thing you know, some wacky jackhole is sweating Swearing a blood vendetta on someone's family line, and I may have sort of started a minor gang war. So, uh, heads up, yeah? What, do you think they're going to try to hurt you? Well, they're not a happy fun forgiving folk, so just be careful, okay? If they see you with me, they might decide we're friends or something and target you for what happened. But other than that, uh, it's not a bad place, really. Anyway, let's find this mystery guy of yours. I changed my mind, I do like her. Can I buy some health potions here? Is there a queue? Welcome to the Coachman's Guild, the world's premier taxi coach rental service. Please take a seat and a guild representative would be with you shortly. No, I don't want to take a coach. Coach. Where did the, the weird girl go? Sometimes I worry about my brothers. They've fallen in with a pretty bad crowd lately. Yeah, probably with that weird girl. She's trouble, I tell you. I'm going to talk to all these people later. Right now I just want to find out where my companion went. Hey, Fargo. Visitors, eh? Well, word of warning, Limpolt is a nice enough town, but we got our share of problems. In between those lunatic monster hunters in the valley and those idiot kids running through the street, you better watch your step while you're here. Just to be safe, of course. This is a big place. Oh, Rufus, where are you? My husband said he'd find work so we could pay the rent, but he hasn't returned in a month. I don't want to believe that he just ran off on us, but 
What else could keep the man? Oh, I knew I should have ins insisted he stay away from the Divide. What if some beasts got him? Or bandits? Or what if he just walked away from us? Why is Mama sad? Daddy'll be home soon, and we won't have to move, right? And once again, there's very many female characters in this game. It's locked, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Can I get in here? No? What do we have here? Poor figure. First his daughter and then her husband are killed in a carriage accident and he has to raise his granddaughter all by himself. That girl put him through hell running around with those idiot skull dragons or whatever they call themselves, lousy hooligans. Then that witch comes out of the valley, picks a fight with these punks and that girl is caught in the middle. I don't know how Fidgur finds the strength to carry on. Welcome to Rose and Queen Limpot, the number one franchise market on the continent. How might I help you today? Hmm, let me see, I'll probably need some supplies after going through the divide. Well, we have a full line of travel goods for the Discerning Wanderer. Take a look. This was what, actually what I was hoping for. Didn't I buy these things? Yeah, number in position. One. Yeah, some Ceserols. Uh, I still don't know what TP is because I saw a MP earlier that I thought was mana points. So I hope. Gotta figure that out. So, uh, it must be the talent points. So, why did it say MP? Uh, it's TP over, all over the place. So that must be the mana points. Actually, good time to save. I don't know where I saw MP. Auntie. Wagwan girl <laughs> Perhaps you can help an old woman. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm having a really hard time understanding you. Me sorry, Chile. I am a B and Ryan and accent can be warm by heart like me head to cut through. Me ask you for help me, you understand? Oh you ask for help. Sure I can help you, I think. What seems to be the problem? It's feel me hot, gyal. It's so tired, me fear it can quit upon me. Me need some energy for me to keep going. She looks kind of cool. She also has the bow tie. Um, just to mention feminist frequency again, has uh, in uh, some video talk about how. Uh, how you um, show that that character is uh, a girl by um, putting some signifiers on her, like a bow tie or large eyelashes or a skirt. It's interesting enough, my own character, Sydney, doesn't have any of those things. She has short hair. Ah, there's a bow, a red bow on top of her head. But it's very discreet. Um, or is it a bow or is it just uh, uh, her headband? Anyway, she looks kind of boyish in a traditional way. I like it. Ah, oh, dancers. Itty. Oh, don't mind me, just enjoying the atmosphere. It's all. You are a creepy dude with a mask and everything. Armando! It is not fair, Borboleta. We were in a game too. But they get a table all to themselves while we do not. Where is the justice in that, I ask you? This is a gaming place. 
boy like a casino. Simona, I heard there was some band of monster hunters in the area. Maybe I should look them up, see if I still have what it takes. I hope these blocks don't take Orlok's gruffness too personally. That's just it way, you know? These punks keep going on and on about how they have to bust their friend out of a dungeon and crap. Gee, when do we get busted out of the dungeon, I wonder? I mean, we can first, right? Oh, and I kinda wanna eat the snake woman and the yippy dog girl thing just to try something different. What was that all about? I honestly don't even understand what I'm doing here. It's not like anybody even remembers me of all people. I'm all for the occasional cameo and such, but do we really have to sit at the table with these losers? What have they done recently? Hi, I'm Reen. Whoop, you smell like doggies. Did you just play with some doggies? I don't like doggies because I'm a fox girl thingy. Yeah, some doggies killed me. Hola, menina. I hope you are well, although you do smell of Fumakai Fogo and Lobby Summons. So you just walk up to complete strangers and initiate conversations with them? Hmm, wow, that's so what that feels like. No, that was wrong. Wow, so that's what that feels like. Uh, okay, there were lots of girls in this company. And uh, I wonder if I should have uh, recognized them from uh, another RPG, perhaps? This one hinted on uh, they doing cameos. So, um, sorry I didn't catch that. There was Simona and uh, Lighten, Itchy, Rene, Fremon, these names say me nothing, Camilla, Orlok, and Mina. No, doesn't tell me a thing. Here she is! Oh, my lady friend and a dodgy looking fellow with a mask. Many pardons, young miss, but a man with a covered face in the darkened corners of a rotgut dive where such sits there and stays, stays silent precisely because he does not wish to be noticed or bothered. Would you not agree? Uh, I am intentionally sitting here in the corner making an effort to look unapproachable and unfriendly Precisely because I don't want to be bothered, and yet still you bother me. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. It's all right, and now you meant no harm. I must apologize, however, as I would prefer to be left alone. Uh, okie dokie. Hey, that guy could have been me. This is the girl I'm looking for, and uh, I'll stop here. Because I've been going on for quite some time. There was some action this time, and a weird girl that I'm not sure I like, but also I like her. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope to see you again for the next part.